Hey YouTube, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And also make sure you check out my website, daytrainfearless.com for my weekly trade zones. Uh, they're only $50 for a lifetime subscription. They come out every weekend. And then also check out my Patreon page where you can follow along with my uh, stock and option, uh, portfolio for day train fearless. But as always, let's jump right into it. So today we're going to talk about market profile using the five day, five minute. But all we're going to look for is how to set up the, uh, open gaps and open VPOCs. Uh, VPOC is just a virgin point of control which means it has not been touched during a regular trading session only. So what I'll do is I'll leave this chart down below uh, for you guys um, with with the zones and all that, or uh, sorry, the uh, levels. And But this is going to walk you through this video. It's going to walk you through how to actually draw them, what to look for, when to remove them, and things like that. So let's first kind of go over exactly what this is. So I'm using a TPO. This is market profile. It's time and price uh, opportunity profile. That's what TPO is. If it was just volume, it will only be where volume traded, not actually necessarily time and price. So over here is just our volume for the last five days. This is a five day, five minute chart. And what you have is you have different two different profiles. Okay. You have one over here and then you have these over here. And again, they're both TPOs. Um, what you have is value area high, value area low in the point of control for the last five days. Over here on the individual ones, all I have and all I care about are the point of controls where the most volume traded during that day, okay? So we could see all this price action during this day. This was the highest point or volume and uh, time at that uh, price level of 39.21. Okay, so over here we have a double distribution day and we see the most volume and time was right here. So what I like to do is, and I personally uh, update this chart every morning, but we're going to just walk through from scratch. Okay. What I like to do is grab the price level. I'll come over here and I will just draw exactly right here. Okay. So as you can see, I have a white dotted line. I'm going to right click, go to edit, and you're going to see this box. First thing I'm going to do is name this. I'm going to name this VPOC, Virgin Point of Control. Okay. Next, I'm only going to change. So right extension on the left extension where it goes all the way to the left. I really don't care about. Um, show name. Yes, I want to show the name on the right. Okay, so I want it on the right hand side over here and then show price is going to be on the left hand side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my mouse and you'll see over here, it actually tells me what price. So 4,078. So I'm going to just round that off because we're using the S&P E-mini futures to 4,075. I then come over here. I want to change the color to yellow. And then under style, I want to change this style to uh, just a straight line. And I keep the width at one. I click OK. And now you could see here's the price and here's the name of it, the VPOC. Now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to drag this down. And I'm going to put it right here. OK. Now. One th one trick that I personally like is if price is above, I'll usually go behind the zone. If price is below, I'll usually go above the zone, okay, or the point of control. 
So in this instance right here, I'm going to sit there and I hover my mouth, my mouse and it's 3978.64. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go because price is below, I'm going to just default to 50. Remember, we trade in quarter increments on the S&P futures. So I want it just right below like this. Okay. So we now have this uh point of control that has not been touched right from the previous day and this will stay on until price actually touches it so we're going to duplicate this again we're going to drag this down and we will go right here okay and i see 39.45.53 i'll probably change or we'll go 50 so 39.45.50, we're right below. Remember I said if, we're, if price is above and we're, price is coming down to touch it, it's, I'm going to put it there. Uh, I'll put it below. And then I will duplicate this one more time because price is also not touched this one over here. And so this one is 39.21 even. Okay. So I'm going to change this. and just like that now we have a couple gaps we have a gap here we have a gap here we actually have a gap here this gap was actually filled here right this gap was filled on this day so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do i'm going to zoom in here and i'm going to duplicate this again just try and make this as easy as possible for myself right i'll bring this over here like this and I'll put it right there I'll hover my mouse right here and if you look over here you'll see C that's the closing price and remember this is a regular trading hours chart so um, this trades until 4 15 p.m. right that's when the futures technically close or sorry um, one, two, yeah, yeah, four. <laughs> I'm in uh, California or uh, Las Vegas. So here in Vegas, I'm on West, uh, on West Coast time, which is 115. So I hover my mouse where it, the closing price is 414 even. So we already have that there. Perfect. So, but one thing we got to change here is we need to change the name to gap, right? So we're going to change that to gap and then we're going to duplicate over here and this is just a quick way so right click duplicate and we're just going to drag this and we're going to go to here and hover our mouse over the candle the close is 3964 even so we're going to open that up go 3964 even boom now we have so now we have gap VPOC, VPOC gap, right? We have one more gap over here that we need to do. So we hover our mouse here. We just kind of do the homework quickly. 3949.75, duplicate. Bring this right here. 3949.75, okay? Don't need to change gap because we went to the old gap. Click OK. And that's it. That's all we do. Now, tomorrow morning, if we open, let's say we open here tomorrow morning, right? Price open to 4,007. Well, if we come down to the, to the VPOC, I'm going to say, remember, these are just intraday support and resistance levels using the five day, five minute regular training hours market profile uh open gaps and uh vpox right it's just a very quick simple maybe a quick little scalp trade or if you're looking at other things look for cofluence if you're trading uh, my trade zone sometimes the zones will be right there where we have multiple cofluence levels all those different things but um if it came down to we'll say 402 even though I know 4,000 4, 
or yeah, 4,000 is the level. If we came to like 4,001, 4,001 a quarter and then had a big bounce, I'll, I'll erase it. That's close enough. I want somewhere within a point or two and then a big bounce. Okay, that was close enough and I'll remove the line. And then every day you'll be able to just start to do it over and over. So I hope this video helps. Again, I'll leave a link down below. Um, so you could kind of work off these levels and all that. And if you guys have any questions, anything, leave them down below in the comments. Um, let me know if you guys like these uh, uh, open gaps and VPOX to trade. Uh, comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.